So what if you want to collect measurements from a test step and upload them to System Link to be visualized in a graph, just like we do here in the mobile device test report? The mobile device test is one of the demonstrations that come install the test end. So if I go to the mobile device test report, you will see for the audio test subsequence, both microphone input test and speaker output test will contain a measurement that will be used for conversion with a low limit, but they will include as an additional result, the whole frequency response curve. And that happens for both steps. The rule here to pass the test is that the lowest measurement has to be greater than 0 0.95, which is the case for both tests in this execution. But you may not only want to see this measurement in system link, but you also want to have the whole frequency response curve. So the default behavior of system link is to only give you the measurement as a test result. Let me pull system link right here. Here's the test result. And for the audio test, you're only going to get the measurement variable. You may think, oh, I can use the parametric data viewer, but the parametric data viewer is for comparison between different executions. They will compare the measurements, the single value across different runs. So if you double click this tab though, you will be able to get all of the frequency response points as the frequency response additional data. But that's not what we want. We want to have them plotted. We want to visualize it in a graph. So the strategy here will be to make a small modification to the mobile device test example to allow you to upload the both microphone input test and speaker output test frequency response curves. My idea is to have the data inserted into a TDMS file. And then that TDMS file will be uploaded with the test result. So to do that, let me go back to test end real quick. I will then go to the mobile device test sequence and click the audio test subsequence. Here, you can see that there are two extra steps. I not only have microphone input test and speaker output test, but I also added a lab view action step which will save the test results to TDMS and a upload file step type or upload file step here. This is a step that is used for uploading files to system link. So going back to test steps, I can click the variables pane and you will be able to see that both the microphone input test and the speaker output test will output the frequency response data and it will be stored in these 2D array local variables. So what I'm going to do with this lab view action step is to store or to pass these two to the arrays to be stored in the TDMS file. And then I will also pass the test step names and the test name. And as an output, I will get a TDMS file path which I'm going to store here in the TDMS file path variable. And this will be used by the upload TDMS file to send this information to system link. As an input of this guy, I will, as the test name, pass the sequence name. So here you should see audio test. In this test step names, I will add a constant. You could change this and add something more programmatic, use the test and API, for example, but I will add the microphone input and the speaker output as the test app names, and both 2D arrays will be entered for the test result data. So I'm gonna click the edit VI so you can see how the code works. It's pretty simple. I'm going to use the test and API to collect, to obtain, the path to the sequence file. And I'm gonna use the same path to the sequence file to store my TDMS file. And here I'm going to use the create or replace option with the TDMS open function to store the TDMS or to replace the TDMS every new execution. Then the task name will be the group name. 
the task tab names will be the channel names. And here I will have one channel for the X axis and another channel for the Y axis. And I will then iterate over a for loop to get both the microphone test result data and the speaker test result data. Then I will close the TDMS file. This will return me to TDMS file path, which I'm going to use to upload the TDMS file. Now going back to system link. In my test result, I can go to the attachments tab. And here you're going to see test result data TDMS file. Double click on it. You will find my test result data with the audio test group. And here you'll have the results. So I will get the microphone input and here's my plot. However, the X axis is not yet right. I need to configure or pick the right X axis. To do that, I will have to click the gear button on the upper right hand corner. And for the X channel, I will select my microphone input. And there you go. Here I have the exact same result as plotted in the mobile device test report. Okay, so that's the idea. This is a simple way how you can plot or see or visualize measurement data in graphs in System Link.